Hey guys, Eamon here, back with another League video. We're going to be checking out Cameron Smith today. Uh, yeah, he's been mentioned a bunch by you guys in like as like one of the greatest ever. Yeah, I think I think it was on the Nathan Cleary video I did that a lot of you guys are mentioning him. And yeah, he was mentioned by Backy Cones and STTH. And I'm sure there's other people as well, but yeah, those are the two I saw. Um, yeah, let's just hop into this, I guess. Um, for those of you that are new here, I usually go on Wikipedia first and just read about him before you hop into his highlights. If you don't care about like watching that, you can skip ahead to the uh, actual highlight reaction. I got it in the time codes for you. Yeah, and yeah, if, if you've been enjoying my videos, make sure to drop a sub, drop a like, comment, uh, stuff as you check out or what you thought of the video. Um, yeah, just, just let me know what you think. All right, so let's hop into his Wikipedia. So Wikipedia looks pretty long, so that's that's good. It's always good. Um, Cameron Wayne Smith, AM. He's got he's got one of these things. Yeah, Order of Australia. Okay. Yeah, I've noticed a lot. A lot of this, like the all time greats in rugby and league, have this have like yeah, with these little things at the end of their names for like awards for their service to their country. I guess that's cool. Uh, former rugby league player who played as a hooker. Okay, let me. What is a hooker again? Number nine. One of the teams forward during scrums. The hooker plays the front row. Comes from hooking or raking the ball back with the foot. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sometimes referred to in Australia as the rake. They usually play the role of acting halfback or dummy half, picking up the ball from the play. The ball that follows a tackle. Hook is therefore have much responsibility in the side to do with the ball. Together with the two halves and fullback hookers, one of the four key positions to make up what is sometimes called the team's spine. Okay. Ooh, okay. In in the Super League, the players can wear whatever number they want, is what I'm seeing from this, I think. All right. Yeah, in 2013 season, the top six players with most targets were all hookers. Okay. Notable hookers. New Zealand's Jock Butterfield, Australia's Ken Kearney, Sandy Pierce, Cameron Smith, and Noel Kelly. Most capped British international hooker was Wales' Tommy Harris. Okay. All right. Um, look at his. He's 40. So, yeah, he must have retired semi recently. Yeah. Uh, six foot one, 92 kg. I believe that's like 100, uh, 600 pounds. 92 kg, I'm pretty sure. Um, he spent his entire career with the Melbourne Storm. Okay. Also been an assistant coach for the Queensland Rugby T League team under former Melbourne teammate Billy Slater. Oh, the Maroons. Okay. I was like, what do, what do, what do they mean? Okay. No, so he's, he's he coaches on the Maroons. Interesting. Yeah, an Australian international Queen's out state of origin represents Smith is regarded as one of the greatest players of all time. During his 19-year career, Smith won the Dally M medal as the NRL's player of the year in 2006 and 2017. Oh, he won one in 2017. So that he was... I mean, well, 2017, it seems like it's so recent, but that was like... What, what is that? Four, seven years ago? So he was like 33. Uh, he won the Golden Boot Award in 2007 and 2017 as well. And the NRL's Dally M Hooker of the Year on nine occasions. Wow. Captain of the Storm for 15 years, during which they won the 2012, 2017, and 2020 NRL Premierships. And also Australia and Queensland from 2012 and 20, until his retirement from representative matches in 2018. He's considered a future immortal. Yeah, the, the immortal, yeah. that's We need to do a video on this, but yeah, I know what an immortal is. Uh, currently, NRL's game record holder with 430 matches played. Only player to have played over 400 matches. I all time point scorer, the passing Azem El Mazri. Why is this name familiar to me? For some reason, I feel like I've heard this name like a lot. Maybe using some highlight reels to watch. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, holds an hour record for most goals kicked, most tackles made, most grand final points scored, and most wins. S almost 17,000 tackles made. That's crazy. I guess there's probably a ton of tackles every game, but yeah, still, that, that seems crazy. And yeah, he's appointed a member of the Order of Australia. He retired in 2021. I guess he was like 37. So yeah, yeah, he had a really long career. Okay. Uh, he's born in Logan, Queensland, Australia. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just kind of skip through the storm stuff. But yeah, he, they did say he won he won three titles, right? And then he also won like before that when they had the title stripped. So he kind of won like five times, I guess. Yeah, I don't, I don't really need to look at his. Yeah, going season by season is kind of. That'd take forever, so we're just gonna skip through that. So two Deliums, hooker of the year nine times is insane. Most points in a season, yeah. Uh, state of origin, is this the winning for wins in the state of origin? Yeah, I assume that's state for state of origin wins. So he wasn't on the team all the time through that eight year run that we did, but he was there a lot. 
Uh, captain of the Year, Golden Boot Award. Yeah, Melbourne Storm Player of the Year. Captain, Queensland Captain. Yeah, three time Grand Finals winner, and then two more that got removed. And he, got, he, he lost in the finals three times as well. Okay. Four minor premierships. 11 State of Origin winners. Jeez. Okay, no, he was on the team then when they... So they won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then they lost twice or once, and then they won three more. Jeez. That's crazy. What was I looking at here? The is this like the MVP? This must be MVP of the of the origin game. Yeah, 27 to nine when they had those titles stripped. That's wild. He won that many times. That's crazy. Alright. Yeah, so that, that's enough info, I guess. Yeah, he seems like he's extremely well accomplished like he's won everything it seems um and he played his whole career with one team that's i feel like that's kind of that's probably pretty rare right yeah always cool for that to have the legacy of being on one team All right let's hop into this Yeah, he's done a great job so far, debuting, and um, he looks very composed. He's not being flustered by the opposition. Mm -hmm. He's certainly a player of the future. Gone from Dummy a player of the future. Cameron Smith will score. And it's another try for Melbourne for Cameron Smith. I can't tell you how much, uh, you know, it sort of gives you a lot of confidence uh, being out here, you know, first year and everything. It's just about unkickable. That was his first year. He, he looks like he's 30. <laughs> Isn't he a footballer? This kid. Smith. Oh, oh what a spin. Cameron Smith. Nice. That's a for a five-star performance tonight. Mm -hmm. Cameron Smith becomes the first Melbourne Storm player to win the Dalian medal. So the Melbourne Storm taken out by their captain, Dalian Player of the Year. Last year, Cameron Smith. And you've been playing rugby league since you're a little kid. You were captain from under eights all the way through the juniors. And tonight you stand on this stage. You inspire every other little kid to take up footy. Oh, mate, you know, every player says this is what you dream of this stage. And mate, oh, I'm just very thankful I got to share this moment with 16 other blokes. He is just something we've never seen. Coming back, it's coming back. He ends the to Kevin You beauty! This is a man that just does not that underestimate crazy any complacency at all in a side. Storm on a roll, Cameron Smith. Oh my god, one v three. The storm score and smile. <laughs> this guy is all kid. Cameron has scored. The captain celebrates <laughs> his 100th captaincy. With nice. a try. The Melbourne Storm taking the grand final of 2012. Spoils. <laughs> Of a wonderful season. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain of the Melbourne Storm, Cameron Smith. It's <laughs> a vision from Cameron Smith. Identifies the one marker. Dummies that no way, dummy. sends him the other way. Nice. That's why he's one of the best in the world. The kick is yep. Happy. good. Happy. He got it. Is that, a, that was in penalty time, I think? He kicked it. Smith will yeah. take the shot. I got a, one second. He kicked it. Ooh, I really like these logos. Right here, that's the storm and the sharks. Yeah, those are really cool logos. I'm gonna look those up after. Smith will take the shot. He's done it. He's done it. Yes. Cameron Smith has kicked it. Oh, Cameron Smith, he's yep. slipped over. And they still <laughs> What the heck? What the <laughs> he fell over. In the game. 2017 Dahlia medalist, Cameron Smith of the Melbourne Storm. Champion players, champion. Yeah, I love the storm jerseys. The more I see them, the more I can the with, the, with the, the gold numbers on the back. The yellow, yellow numbers, I guess. Gold, you know, looks so nice with the purple. But maybe the best trio of players over that length of time ever to be presented to a rugby league field. Smith's got a good work on this one. Jeez. You are a genius! <laughs> wow. To become the greatest point scorer in Premiership history. And there's the record. <laughs> Look at his kids jumping up and down. That's so <laughs> cool. His kids came in the field. Son, awesome. husband, father, friend.
footy player, a true great of our game. Well, sit back and enjoy watching this champion. He's the best player I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> they got the goggles on. <laughs> oh, awesome. That was a really good video. Yeah, awesome player. I, it is kind of hard to find it's, it's, it's like pure highlight reels for NRL guys. Um, yeah, there's not too many like just like pure like 10 minutes of just like gameplay. I, I guess that's probably because of the copyright from the NRL. The NRL needs to like, yeah, usually if, if it's, it's a video, it'll be like on their channel. Um, yeah no cool video super like yeah he has all the achievements that you could ask for so that's uh definitely puts him up there all time um, yeah let me know is he is he the best all time like i know you guys have said like it's kind of hard to pick someone like especially when they play different positions it's hard to like choose someone but yeah i guess when you're when you're that good and you've won a lot like that people are generally gonna lean towards you so that's uh yeah yeah We'll send it there. Thanks for watching. If you're doing the video, make sure to drop a sub, drop a like, comment. Uh, guys, I guys, I check out in the future. Um, yeah, have a good one.